So there was some major drama going on over at NBC News. It was all over the network's decision to hire the former Republican National Committee chair, Ronna McDaniel, as an on-air analyst. The contract was reportedly worth nearly a million dollars, but McDaniel's past statements denying the legitimacy of the 2020 election and embracing the quote-unquote big lie that the election was stolen caused people at the news station to revolt, including some of their stars who complained on air. Take a look. She has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? You wouldn't hire a made man like a mobster to work at a DA's office. And so I, I find the decision to put her on the payroll ex inexplicable. And this is not about not having Republicans on. The reality is this isn't a difference of opinion. She literally backed an illegal scheme to steal an election in the state of Michigan. And NBC has now reversed course and is dropping Ron and McDaniel. Some on the right are criticizing this, this decision, saying it reinforces the network status as anti-Trump. Others are calling it censorship. Uh, Erica, what do you think about this? Um, I think the statement, is she speaking on behalf of herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her, um, is a, a very legitimate question. Um, as we know, there are certain access points to getting into these seats um, as contributors, correspondents, anchors. Um, some of those access points has less, less traffic than others. So I do um, sometimes question when people are flipping the script and speaking out of both sides of their mouth. If this is um, if this is just for pay, which is a legitimate question. But the other thing that's legitimate is anytime you're in a situation where you are giving your like your expertise or your opinions or whatever that may be, and you're the face and that's your brand, you have every right to stand up for the integrity of the platform that you are a part of because that is going to affect you and your career going forward. I think that this is a very teachable opportunity for any network or platform to actually engage with those who are helping to sustain that credibility on that platform when they're bringing in people, particularly particularly people that might be considered controversial or detrimental to everyone else's brand. Hmm. Yeah, and I think just pulling the curtain back, you know, on our show and any kind of panel show, I think people th think that the executives want people that think like-mindedly up here. We searched for conservatives. There is a need, especially as we might be gearing up for a second Trump presidency. But you for, want them to be for, authentic. Right, exactly. But NBC has a want to have somebody that is Republican. Michael Steele is on their network. And it's, it's funny because uh, Joy Reid said you wouldn't have a made man on your network. Oh, uh, you know, uh, Michael Cohen is on the... Michael uh, Steele. Mike, no, oh, Michael, Michael Cohen, Cohen, the lawyer. Uh, Trump's lawyer is, is on uh, their network. They, you want people that have access to not only possible Trump's voters' eyeballs, because that's good for them, but also somebody with a difference of opinion, because that's how things go viral. So they had a, had a vested interest in having somebody like her, but having somebody that is her is problematic because of her stance. What do you think, Jeff? Yeah, here, I don't know much about this. I don't know anything about this woman, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm just going to defend networks at this point because I don't even watch them myself anymore whatever side you're on because I don't get an equal opinion you watch one show it's one thing you watch another show it's different but I think you need a balance of opinion I'm not defending denying the election okay or if there was a coup that's what I'm you can't do that you can't have a coup that you're involved in to try to overthrow the election election denial they do that on both sides I'm glad we're at a point now where we could say that because Hillary Clinton didn't believe Trump won the election a lot of Democrats didn't believe Trump won the election back in 2016. That's not the same as being involved in a coup as opposed to saying, I, I, didn't, I didn't legitimately win that. Again, people are going to say, well, this guy's a Trumper. Say whatever you want. But the fact of the matter is we don't have people representing both sides. 36% of the country think that the election wasn't fair. A third. And you're not going to have anybody represent that on your show. You're going to have all like-minded people saying the exact same thing, be surrounded by. Wouldn't you like to see a show where that exact woman, by the time the presidency comes around and be like, 
you know what? I was kind of mistaken on the whole thing. I really didn't know much about it. You guys really taught right. me something there, but and I'm going to come around. Authentic, I, and also, but that's I don't know if she's being authentic or not, also, or if she's playing a part. Let me finish. Yeah, I just I don't like how we're so one-sided. Hollywood's very one-sided. Television shows like that are very one-sided. And if you have a diff, any difference of opinion, any sort of difference of opinion, you're Hitler, you're racist, you're a Trumper, you're everything. I hear you say it's that. that. We're in a world right now where I live it every day, and I'm like, I don't know. You know what? I don't even want to know if I want to vote because right. I don't like these two guys. You're not going to vote? You're American. All right, well, I think I'll vote for RFK. RFK is a lunatic. You're going to vote for RFK? All right, well, I'm not. I don't know. Well, d two guys? I guess my life was terrible. Maybe I'll vote for Trump. You're going to vote for Trump? You're racist and you're Hitler. All right, I'll vote for Biden. All right, well, do what you want. It's your vote. You could do whatever you want. You're pigeonholed into a corner to say what media wants you to say. And having a difference of opinion is very important. But oh, Jeff, okay, but Jeff me, you're on we, this media. You saw we searched for a conservative host. And a difference of opinion. Final very thoughts. Thought, gotta go. Difference of opinion is different than not acknowledging the truth of the situation. And she did do that. And I agree with and you. You, you have a great that, point. Right. Yeah, yeah.